A film that Terry Gilliam once called one of the best animations ever made, and a film that cemented the Key Brothers in stop motion history. It's Street of Crocodiles. <laughs> Street of Crocodiles is our second short, coming in at 21 minutes, and it's one of those films where I can't really tell you what happens without just describing it play by play. A puppet's strings are severed. He enters, or continues to exist, in a bizarre, almost nightmarish world that looks as though H.R. Giger was having a pleasant dream. A doll of a baby plays with a light bulb. The end. That's not to dismiss the happenings in Street of Crocodiles, just to say that it's not a traditional narrative, very open to interpretation, and it's not at all clear what it's addressing, only that it does seem to be addressing something. The images aren't random, they are connected, but how they are connected is really dependent on what you think is going on. The Street of Crocodiles is a short story by Bruno Schultz, but obviously this isn't so much the film version as it is a standalone piece of work inspired by the tone of the short story. The Key Brothers' work and extreme attention to detail is from a technical point of view fantastic, and from an atmospheric point of view instrumental in creating the uniquely frightening world of Street of Crocodiles, a world that almost seems as if we're watching it through a pane of glass. Tomorrow, imagine if Twilight was just nutters LARPing in Pittsburgh. <laughs> 